Hello, Twitches. It's Shay J. Um, as I just felt like showing off my random Orton uh, air freshener, so that's why I had the Legend Killer thing there for a second. Um, it's Shay. You can see I've got. Oh, well, you might be able to see my pink and or purple and green eye, or eyeshadow going on, but it's a little bright, so I'm gonna put on my my new Stunna shades. Um, but Shay J is going on a solo adventure today. Hey, Rock's got some stuff going on. Um, going up to see the boys that are playing in the background. Lollipop is just the song that happened to come on. I've got it on shuffle. Uh, but I felt like doing my own little kind of solo, like, just adventure video. So we'll see how much of this makes it. But I don't know. I felt like doing it. I have no idea how much battery left is left in my flip cam, but I have to play with it. So I'm also attempting to acquire satellites. You can't even see that, but it's so annoying when that happens in your GPS, which is actually not mine, it's my mother's, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm listening to some good music, as usual, listen to my voice, Framing Hanley, who I'm going to see. Um, the show actually starts in like an hour and 45 minutes, so I've got like an hour and 25 minutes or so to get there. Hour and a half, the guys go, it's 5.15, the guys go on like 8.15, so I have like three hours to lay start, but I want to get there early. Just picked up some Dunkin' Donuts, I had some Starbucks earlier, but Dunkin' Donuts now. Still trying to acquire satellites, which, um, I don't see any clouds. I just see sun. Um, so I don't really know why, but whatever. So, hmm, person behind me taking out trash. Whatever. So yeah, I'm going to update randomly throughout the drive, maybe. Let's see if I remember to do this and probably update afterwards. Please, person behind me, don't hit me. Anyway, yeah, so enjoy the craziness that is Shay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Shay J again, and this is what I've been staring at for the past, like, 40 minutes. Lots and lots of trees and trees and cars and more trees and more cars and sky. Not very, very thrilling ride, but, um, since I last saw you guys, got some gas, which took a while because everybody was getting gas. Uh, my GPS is ever since <laughs> this still does not want to work. Now it actually has some clouds in the sky, you see, but uh, it doesn't want to work. It's ridiculous, and it's really pissing me off, um, but whatever. I luckily printed out those the directions. I was smart enough to print those out. I mostly did it because it tells me where to park, so um, but I'm now I'm really, really glad I printed those out instead of just like putting the information on my phone or whatever. Um, also pissing me off because the Twitter text thing is down, so I can't like text in updates, and every time I go to, it tells me, oh, we're working on improving your experience, or all that bullshit, so, whatever. I wish you could see this. You probably can't. You can kind of see that mountains in the background. That looks just really cool. Um, and for people who don't live near mountains, those are mountains way back there. You can't really see it. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that's been my view for a while, and... No, I'm, I'm doing alright. I got my cruise control on. It's a little after six. I can't film while driving. Not that skilled yet. Not that amazing yet. Um, still have, of course, Framing Hanley on in the background. I haven't listened to anything else but them. Um, so yeah, nothing really to port yet. Hopefully gonna get there on time. Um, but that's about it for now. I'll update when I get closer. Look what is finally fucking working. My GPS! Shoujo is quite happy about this that her GPS is finally fucking working. By the way, it is like 1 in the morning and I am heading home. And I have the light on, but I, I absolutely look horrible. I am short. Um, I completely forgot that I had set this to no toll rooms. Which is good because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> A lot of cash today. Um, so just driving and hopefully not running into any cops like last time I was up here with Miss A Rock. Oh, that's fun. I just remembered that I have smiley faces on my wrist, which means I can drink, but I didn't. And not have one drop of alcohol, I really didn't. Um, I had nothing except for my Doga Donuts that I only had half finished because I realized it was going to be a long show and I probably got to pee and I didn't want to. So um, I only drank like half of it. But, um, freaking awesome show. It was, all four bands were really great. Um, I got there, and there was, like, three different lines. There was lo one line for Will Call, one line if you already had a ticket, and then one line if you needed to buy a ticket. 
And um, so I was assuming that people were getting their tickets from Will Call and buying the tickets and then going on the line if you had tickets. No. If you bought, got, went to Will Call or if you bought the tickets right there, you immediately went in. So the buying the tickets line was really short. So I went there, bought a ticket, went straight in and got right up front. Like, like against the uh, stage. Um, so that was pretty awesome. And then the first band up was Me Talk Pretty. Um, really good. I really liked um, this singer. She was really cool and she was telling a little bit about the backstory or whatever. Um, how she came over from Romania, I believe she said. And uh, so that was really cool. Sorry, I thought I saw a cop. <laughs> um, ooh, I love this song. Still have Birmingham on Hanley on, of course. Um, but they did uh, good, so, good set. Um, just got the crowd into it a little bit. And she was really interactive with the crowd. Came over to us a lot. That was cool. We love crowd, uh, ba bands that interact with their crowd, which came a lot later, too. Then, while we're there, we're getting, I'm getting tweets on my phone or whatever about how Nixon's getting really sick, and then he threw up, <laughs> and he hoped he wasn't going to throw up on stage, which he did not, um, but yeah, so then Framing Hanley was next, and freaked out, there was actually quite a few people up front, like, all the Framing Hanley fans seemed to be in the same spot, it was really awesome, like, there was a group of, like, I don't know, 20 of us, they were somehow managed to be grouped together. So that was really cool to have people that knew what they were, you know, framing Hanley and everything. And um, it was just really cool. And you could tell Nixon wasn't quite himself, but he still sounded amazing. He did not throw up. He didn't need the bucket that they put on stage for him. Um, there were some sound issues. I could tell with them and they figured them out. But they still sounded really good. I had waited for over two years to see them again. And it was so worth it. I mean, it wasn't worth the wait. It was worth the wait, but I still wish I didn't have to wait that long. Anyway. Know what I mean? Um. Anyway, so it was an awesome show, and at the very end, I got Brandon's pick. I didn't even mention it to him. Oh well. Uh, he threw it like into the group of us, and I went to grab it, and I didn't think I grabbed it, and so everybody's looking on the ground, and then I realized it was in my hair. So I have Brandon's pick. I'm very glad because I have Luke's pick from years ago, from the first show I ever went to with them. So that's really cool. Um. Sorry, I'm listening to. Uh, the promise in the background, and I freaking love this part. Um, anyway, okay, still like 20 more miles on this road. Um, see, look at all this stuff that's going on. Oh, my battery's running low. Oh, well, I'll have to finish this pretty quick. Basically, they did awesome. I have quite a few videos. Um, just, oh god, it was so good to see them again. It was so good to see them again. And then after them was Adelita's Way, very good live. Um, I only knew really one of their songs, but they were really good. But I was in way back because I went to meet. Um, who was in the back at that point? Ryan and Luke were in the back doing signing autographs and all that kind of stuff. That was cool. So they hide them quickly. Um, and then at least when came on, they were good. And then Sick Puppies came on. My God, are they good? Sick Puppies are freaking amazing live. Like I always like some of their songs. But they were so good live. I highly recommend seeing them. Really, really impressed me. Really interactive. Really, they do everything from the stripped down acoustic stuff to the ballads, to the, like, rock, to, like, the hard rock, and that was just awesome. Loved the whole thing, the vibe about them. They were really cool, um, really, like I said, interactive, and I love bands that do that, so really, really major props for me on, uh, Sick Puppies. Um, now, oh, hear me now is on. I wonder if it's the instrumental version. Oh my god, Red Light! Oh, no, it's not, okay. Um, uh, which is their last song. This was their last song, and loved it. I didn't cry. I thought I was going to cry during this song. Um, but anyway, then after the show, they doing the autographs and pictures with Framing Hanley. Nixon was really sick. Brandon said he was puking everywhere. Uh, so Gr uh, Chris took him back to the hotel. So it was just Brandon, Ryan, and Luke. Uh, I talked to Brandon a lot because Brandon's the most talkative of those three. And talked to him a little while uh, about how long I've been since I've seen them and being a fan for so long and just a million different things. Um... And they were meeting all these other fans. I got some pictures with them and everything. And then I kind of waited it out because there was a whole really huge crowd leaving. And just kind of waited it out. It didn't feel like leaving, to be honest. And then uh, eventually the crowd was clearing out. And I bugged Brandon for a little while. And then bugged Ryan for a little while. But then started talking to Luke. And Luke and I talked for, I don't even know, like half an hour, 40 minutes. Just talked to him. That was awesome. Um, and he said he's not really that talkative. 
but he was, and he said he's not entertaining. He's Luke, Luke you were very, very entertaining. I don't even be touched with the most random shit. And it was awesome. Um, I love that guy. I love all of them, but so it's just a really, really great experience. It was great talking to them because they are all great guys. Um, and it's fun to joke around with them, but it's also, you know, you can be serious with them. I was just thanking them for everything they've done. And other music has helped me through a lot and all that. Um, but it's just awesome experience. And I'm seeing if it's still licking at me, so I'm guessing my battery's going to die kind of soon. She said, because these batteries last for so long. Um, but yeah, that was just my experience in a nutshell. The lights during the like secondary bands, supporting bands, were, to, for my camera, they were horrible. So I couldn't take many pictures. I was really, really sad about that. Even because I was right up front and I couldn't get good pictures. Um, so I took some videos. I took quite a few videos, actually. Spent, and um, So those will be online. And then took quite a few pictures afterwards. I have a picture like three pictures with the group of them, with the three of them, and then like single pictures with each of them, which I haven't looked at yet. I have no idea what they look like. So I said to Brandon, I was like, why are you the most normal looking one in these pictures? Because usually he's the craziest one. And so he was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, you don't have to be crazy in my picture, but you can be. So I have yet to look at them. I don't know what they look like. Um, but yeah, I thought like, Luke and I went outside, and then Ryan was there, and I don't know where Brandon was, he was somewhere. But yeah, so it was just, it was an awesome, awesome experience, and it's just after 1. I should be getting home around 2.20. May or may not stop to get food, we'll see. I have no idea what this is bringing me, but it's main road, so we're okay. But So yeah, that was my experience in a nutshell. I will probably put all these videos together. I think I'm going to open a separate U YouTube just for these random videos, because I have this little cam now, and it's going to happen. But anyway, um... I hope everybody's having an awesome night. I'm going to get on my phone or on my Twitter when it's, I hit stoplights or whatever talks to people. But um, stay awake. I'm really not tired. I actually really want to go to Walmart. <laughs> okay. I was done recording. <laughs> the battery wants to die or whatever. But that road that I was on before that had all that stuff and I felt a lot safer and all that is now turned into this road where there's like nothing in Oh, oh the, well, there's a car, because there was none before. They all seem to turn off, but it's... I oh, know, that's not a car, that's just a light. Wow, see, look, nothing and nobody. And that's just a really bright, bright light for no real reason. So, yeah, so I was like, oh, look, there's all this food and all these stores. And, yeah, so look, look at the nothingness. Isn't it great? <laughs> so this is what she is driving on. Nothing! Wow, you really, it looks even darker on the phone than the camera actually. But, um, yeah, but my, my GPS is still working. Yay! And, uh, still listen to Mary Hammy. Yeah, but I should have stopped at that Dunkin' Donuts to get another coffee. I'm not asleep at all. I'm definitely wide awake, but I don't know. Like, I also love coffee. And I've barely eaten today. But anyway, alright, okay, I just wanted to show you how that went from being whatever to nothing. So yeah. Uh, everybody, I hope you're having a nice safe St. Patty's Day. Um, and we'll see if anything else... Oh my god, it's a car! And no more. Okay. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs>